Hey everybody, Greg Laurie here with my wife Kathy and our special friend Joe. What's your full name, Joe? Joe Ferreira. And your parents were originally from Sicily, right? That's right. And so they taught you how to make real Italian food. Right? There was no other kind, well, probably. Yeah. Well, I've had some. I'm not sure what it is, but it's the crummy American version. I think this is the best Italian spaghetti sauce I've ever had. Don't you? Yes, and there are a couple secrets that we're going to share with you. Don't make it sweet. Do. Oh, she's hitting me. It's it's not going to be a secret anymore, There's a anymore, super Jeff. secret that <laughs> super, we're going to reveal. Super secret, A yes. super secret. I've never heard this You've one You've never before. heard this mm -hmm. before. Do you think it's good to make spaghetti sauce sweet, or is that just up to the preference it's, of the person? It's a preference of the person. Greg's not a, a fan of really sweet sauce. No, he doesn't. I, 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 don't, I like sauce almost any way it comes. Spicy, yeah. sweet, I just love tomatoes. I so. woke up with a horse head on my bed. Is this a message of some kind? It means, no. <laughs> it's not a message. Am I the only one hearing this song right now? I don't hear it. Maybe it's just in my head. Well, okay, so we're gonna show you how this is done, and then we're gonna eat it. So check it out. Joe's gonna show us how to make an authentic Italian meat sauce. And you've got some amazing ingredients here, and a secret one we're gonna share, and it makes the sauce so rich. And you've got a whole, or half of a, a, a clump of garlic. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you can tell them how many cans I'm making. And we're going to use six cans of crushed, this is crushed um, Italian tomatoes in rich puree. So six of these, that's for a huge pot of this sauce. It's a 10 quart pot. 10 quart pot. So six cans of the crushed tomatoes and then two large, this is a um, 12 ounce can of tomato paste. Yeah, for that okay. much. Okay, so if, just cut it in half if you're gonna do less. So you'd go three yeah. cans and one of these, or two cans and half of one of these. Yeah, you, they have the small cans yeah. in there. That's Super the kind I there. usually buy. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> and then you've got one, um, we say one small onion or two small onions? I have two. Two small onions or one big onion, and then half of uh, a clump of garlic. Well, that's how you peel your cloves. You smash them first, huh? Oh, it's easier. You have olive oil. I do. Yeah. I have. Is that enough olive oil for you? Oh yeah. Okay, good. I, I just coat the bottom of the pan because okay. then you're putting pork in it and. Yeah. Let's talk about the meat. So you've got about a pound of ground beef. Beef. And is this like 80/20 fat? Yeah. You don't have to use okay. a real lean. Lean. Okay. And then you've got two pounds of ground Italian sausage. Sausage. Outside the casings, and then this is. This is the secret ingredient here. This is a whole bowl full. This feels like about three pounds or four pounds of ham hocks. I don't know how many pounds it is, but I, when I bought them, they had three of them in one package. Three in a package. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then the first thing you this will is do the, is This use, is the most difficult part. Yes, this is all your prep work. Yeah, you can get that Time done. Time consuming. Well, now, you start with the onions and garlic together in the olive oil. First, uh, no, garlic first. I garlic. mean, the onions first. Onions first. Because okay. that will burn. It will. Yes, I've made that mistake a few times. You really have to See, watch you it. already know everything. A few things, not not as well. You, you, you're going to teach me some things. The, the ham hock trick. I didn't know about the, that. But I always wondered why Not everybody sauce uses it either. Well, your sauce was so rich. It was great. Okay, so you're cutting Ooh, that. Kind one. of a rough chop. I mean, it's not like you have to make it totally, totally fine, fine mince. On the no, garlic. not at all. Just slice you can it just up. slice it if you want. You don't have to even chop it. Gotcha. So you put the oil into a cold pot and then turn the heat on, or yeah, yeah. any way you want. Okay, but it's not that particular. You can say maybe two tablespoons here so far. Okay. Just enough to give a good coating on the bottom of this big pot. Oh yeah. Okay. And then you want it on a medium heat. Medium. Or? Okay. I need the can of tomatoes open. Gotcha. The crushed ones, not the paste. And this too. Okay. Because I, I put this in first. Actually, the next thing I put in is the meat. Okay, so the oil gets hot, then the onions, I put the then onion. the garlic, and then comes the meat. Yeah. yeah. We'll take care of that later. Oops. <laughs> How long do you let your sauce simmer for? That's the key too, isn't it? How long you... Well, 
after I browned the meat mm -hmm. and put the sauce in, I, I, that's the first thing I put in there. And that cooks the long okay. the, the ham hocks. Ham hocks. Okay. Because you want all the flavor to come out of those. Mm -hmm. Now, do you take but them those, out? Do you those take the meat? have already been boiled. You have to boil. Okay. You so you, to, you take your ham hocks you ham and then you home. boil them. When yeah. you take them home from the soup, okay. you can boil them. You'll see a little bit of scum. Yes. You take them off, off, wash them all out. Okay. Then do it until there's not any. Oh, nothing's coming off. Not That's any, usually oh, the just, salt. Just a very little. Okay. No, I don't add any like, anything to it. Okay. So you cook the onions through sometimes, all the way till they're wet. They're sometimes I add clean. my garlic when I add the meat. Okay. It'll cook in, but it won't yeah. get brown. The key is don't burn the garlic. Don't burn the garlic. That changes everything, doesn't it? The taste of it. Okay, I'll take a peek. So yeah, they're starting to sort of get clear and yeah. You don't want to uh, brown. You don't want to brown them. them. Just and get I them mean, soft. If you're to, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not the not end of the world. Okay, so when the onions are kind of turning soft. clear and getting soft, then you add your garlic. Yeah. Always keep your hands clean because you use. Yes. For this. Okay, so you're breaking up your. That's the. Uh, I, I break that's it up the a Italian bit. sausage outside of casings. Yes. And so then you. If you have leftover sausage and you want to use them up, you okay. can take them out of the casings. Okay. You know. Oh, it broke up pretty good. And then it it's breaks up together. once you put the tomato in it. Okay. Great, so. so you you keep stirring it and breaking it up until it's all browned. Yes. And then you add your uh, start oh, adding yeah. your sauces. Brown. And I'm only going to use one can of tomato paste. Okay. So one I can. I prefer not to have a lot of tomato paste. Okay. So six cans of the crushed and one can one, one twelve large ounce can. Of okay. Gotcha. Just Once you get go. that all in, you're done. Mm-hmm. And then you just wait. Then you, you just, just cook simmer. it. You don't have to cook it all day. No, no, you don't need it in like six hours or something like that. Okay. You just cook it and... Do you want that heat a little Do you high? have any uh, basil and oregano? It's dried. dried. Yeah. I do, yes. But it's very good to put in the fresh one. If you but would. after it's cooked... Oh, don't cook it because otherwise you lose, you lose all, all the flavor. flavor. So you the know dry. all about it well, already. <laughs> you watch the cooking I, channel? I do. I love the cooking channel. And but yeah, the fresh herbs are beautiful at the kind of to finish your I put dishes in, with. It, yeah. Oh, I put it sometimes on the table and you can chop it up and oh, put I it on I your love plate. Fresh basil. I could just throw oh, even in salads on bread. No. It's so good. Now, Do you husband, want that heat a little higher? No. Nope. Just leave it That's at medium. You leave okay. it you don't have to cook it fast. Yeah? Can smell it? <laughs> no, I can smell it. It's coming it. along. Let me see if I can find the basil. So you like oregano and basil. Do you add that in, in the early part or after? No, we can put it in. Okay. All right. Here you go. If, uh, you, get, you can't put too much of these. Just a pinch. Because they have, they have a lot of flavor. They do. They, yeah. no, a little more well, the dried, the dried is uh, more concentrated, isn't it? Yes. Okay, this now comes the, your spice. This is the oregano. The oregano. No, too much. Not just to oregano. Watch that. So okay. that looks like maybe half teaspoon. Okay, you can write that down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to be writing this down because we're going to get questions. Who? Oh. Well, when people see this, they're going to want to know oh. exactly how much was that. That looked a little more. That looks like maybe a whole oh, teaspoon. Oh, this can be a, a little half. more. Okay. And we're using it because we're We've making. We've got a lot of sauce. When huh? do these go in? Oh, after, I have to put at the very end. In. I, not at the end, after I'm through with this. The sauce. The, all the tomato yeah. sauces go in first. Do you have something Yes, I, can I do. Let's see, I have a skinny a one. Thin one. Okay. I put this in first because it's easier than mixing it in after you have the oh, tomato. That's a good, that's a good point. You mix it. Because it's thicker. Mm-hmm. I put the tomato in. It, because it's easy to stir in the tomato paste without the tomatoes in it. Mix it into the meat. And you know all the shortcuts, all the all the tips because yeah, I've done it the other other way, and then you have to keep stirring and stirring, to make sure you don't get a big lump of tomato paste. 
I think we're gonna do okay. You gonna sit? Tomatoes. Oh, okay. Because yeah. even when we put Did you want that much water or more? You can put a little more. She's the queen of the sauce, and now we know why. The queen of the, the sauce. queen of the sauce because she uses she uses the ham hocks, or or if you're really up for a they challenge, count. the pig's feet, which gives it that almost I don't know. It's just the richest, most flavorful sauce I've ever had. Hi, Greg. We, I don't know yes, what's so best good about sauce it. Ever. Best, it is truly. I don't Unchallenged know. fact of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> That's know. saying a lot. We've eaten exactly a lot of spaghetti what's so sauce. What's different about the spaghetti sauce? It's this. It's well. well I mean, it's spaghetti the... in Italy and all over New York and all the other places. You make the best spaghetti sauce. I, I don't so know. True. You can start a restaurant. Never mind. <laughs> she had a old. restaurant feeding her family, who is practically the size of those pots you were making. I need salt and pepper. Okay. Uh, you like uh, pepper flakes? I have red. Oh, I love red pepper love, flakes. I you can probably like it spicy. There's the salt. No, I could, we are. Well, I could have put it in with the meat, but that's okay. Here's we'll, the pepper flakes. Okay. And if you want fresh, fresh black pepper, this I'll one. use black. Yeah, I'll use that. Look. <laughs> Why do people, some people make Italian sauce sweet? That's the way they like them. Do, do you make yours sweet? I didn't I know it's just I didn't so know sweet. That, if it's sweet. I put a little sugar in it because it I don't it. like it when it's sweet though. But Joe, you have a, you have something I've never heard before to sweeten or to take the acidity as you add mm. a, a little yes, pinch of When you're going to add the baking soda, don't add it after you have your meat in it. Okay. Only because uh, it, it, it changes. Make, it, well, it dissolves things. Oh. You know how baking soda okay. works. Yeah. So it's, you add, when do you? I would add it now. Okay. Right. As soon as it bubbles. Then you add your, a little bit of the baking soda. Yeah. And it, oh, so you can give it a taste. Yeah. You know? At this point, taste it, see if it's wet. Yeah. yeah. If enough it's salt, enough. Yeah. Just get a spoon. Okay. And... Do you want to add the sugar first, or or don't add the sugar? Taste it first. After you add everything. Okay. Then you taste then you it. Okay. I was waiting to taste it, so I'm like, I'm, I'm anxious. <laughs> you know, what's that guy's name? The uh, cook that always uh, bang. Oh, Emerald. Yeah, he and always said, you got to taste your food oh, you and do. make you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. How do you know how it's going to taste? You don't. You can't put it on the table without having tasted it yourself. Now, if, if at some point you think that's too heavy, I mean the meat, you like less, you just put less. Add more. Add less, I mean. Okay. Add if less. It's, if you think it's too much. Yeah. Okay. You, you have to do it to taste. Yeah. Some people like a real meaty sauce, and some That's like how I'll like make more, it. More marinara. I like marinara. My husband likes the meat, meat sauce, so I always put a lot. He like, yeah. even sometimes if I have chicken, fried chicken left over, he likes me to break up the pieces and, and pour them in. in. You can do that. I love that. That's a great tip. And you said even adding any kind of leftover meats, pork chops or lamb pork chops. Pork chops, or... you can cut them up, or, or just throw them in a hole and then take oh, them out goodness. and eat them at the table. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's coming along here, isn't it? I know. It's looking very good. I believe it. It's smelling good in here, too. What is that, baking soda? Yeah, just yes. a little bit. That's a little What does pour. that do? It cuts the acid. And this is a... a tomato. This is kind of frightening on its own. I'll <laughs> give you $1 if you take a bite out of that right now. $1 is oh. not enough. I'm waiting $1 for it. $1 American cash. <laughs> Wait until it goes in the sauce. Now, you have to taste it and make sure there's enough salt okay. All right. and pepper okay. in there. Are you trying it now? And yeah. it's not You really... want to be the taster? Let me get a little mm -hmm. special spoon. Yeah, get a spoon out of there and you taste it too, because I don't know what I'm tasting for. Where can I throw this out? Very good. Yeah, You're right here. It's good to me. I shouldn't re dip with the same oh, spoon. Mm -hmm. No double dipping. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And then I'll put that in. Okay. Yeah. Want me to spoon those in for you? No. Just set I them in there, just my hands. drop them in one at a time. And it's 
This was a perfect size pan. Look at that. See how they came? Yeah. They were all stuck together. <laughs> they separated. The cover on it while it's for Once a while. it starts to bubble, well, or even the lower it. Okay. Yeah, I got it on pretty high, so I'll put it back down yeah. to medium low. Well, until okay. you don't want to make it so high that it'll bubble over with okay. the lid on it. Nice. Well, there we have it. Now, now time just has to do its magic. Well, they say Rome wasn't built in a day, so this no. sauce takes a while to cook. It's been it? simmering for hours. I like that word, yes. simmering. Simmering, and we added the meatballs. Yes. And took out the ham hocks. Yes, I'm which, glad. Those which scare me a little. I must say, made good flavor, all the but difference. frightening looking. Well, they look almost like the alien creatures a little. Let's not to me. talk about that. Let's talk okay. about this beautiful sauce. Here you go. Are you hungry? Yes. Okay. You want some meatballs? Never ask a man oh. if he's hungry. The answer is yes. Here you go. Number. That looks okay. good. And there's Parmesan cheese and French bread right there, Greg. Okie dokie. When the moon hits your eye <laughs> like a big pizza pie, that's... Amore. That's it. There you go. Oh, man, this looks good. This is okay. what you call plating the food. That's what they say in the Food Channel, right? Yes, yes. Only we got a splatter on the side here. Okay, piece Take of that. bread. There you go. Okay, let's try it. There's no way to eat spaghetti mm -hmm. and not spill. I know. It's going to be all over your shirt. Here we you go. You should put the napkin in your collar. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it great? No, I must have a little meatball. We have meatball. to say thank you, Joe. Thank you for bringing all the stuff and making this Now delicious. we will try the killer meatball. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the secret to those, she said, is half pork, half beef. So The that's secret it. is eating them. <laughs> Good? Yeah, try it. Okay. Look, she mm. takes a little ladylike bite. Mm. Is that pasta al dente? It's perfect. It's you perfect. love it? And the sauce. Mm. I think those ham hocks are what the real secret to this So sauce we've is. revealed a secret. The All secret. the way from Sicily, because mm -hmm. her parents are from Sicily. And she brought it, and she's revealed it to us. Yes, that's it. What is it? A secret? Secret? It's the ham hocks. The ham hocks. Add a little of the ham hocks Frightening to look in at, there. but great for flavor. In that sauce, there was seven of them, and we've taken them all out. Yes. And then you just flavor the sauce with it. Delicious. Okay, so try this recipe mm, and tell us okay. how it works out for you. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> yes. So that's how you peel your cloves. You smash them first, huh? Oh, it's easier. Okay. <laughs> this is the Godfather music. Hey! <laughs> da -da -da that's why I said to Jackie, I usually sing and dance around when I cook. Oh, so. well, don't let that stop you. You'll be right at home here with Greg. Come on, Greg, get over here. And <laughs> hey. Now, why do you come into my house and not show me the respect I deserve? That's you so say to me, Michael, you come in here <laughs> and you do not. Da da da, la da da. La da da.